Hey guys, my name is Garcis and welcome back to my fashion world. I kind of just vented when this happened on my Snapchat. If you don't, here's that promo. <laughs> if you don't follow me on Snapchat, I'll leave the link down here or somewhere around here um, so you guys can follow me. I did vent about the situation and I did have several conversations with people that do follow me on Snapchat about this um, stuff when it happened. I was kind of just going to let it go, not really let it bother me, like it is what it is, it happened, it's fine. But after a while I was just like, you know what, like stuff like this really does irk me and it really does bother me because it kind of is a bit insulting and it's almost a bit disrespectful. Um, and so I was like, you know what, like let me just make a video, I just kind of want to vent. So I want to get into this video so I can talk to you guys about what happened to me with the cute boy at the gym. Okay. <laughs> so this happened really recently actually, maybe about two weeks ago. First of all, I'm just gonna say this, okay. I have two things to say actually. First thing is, if you go to the gym looking cute, with your hair done, with your outfit right, everything kind of matching, everything cohesive, you're giving me a color palette, you're giving me a story, I hate all of you. <laughs> Okay, I, hate is a strong word. I dislike all of you because I wish that I can go to the gym looking that cute. I don't. Um, and the second thing I have to say is I'm gonna preface the video with saying that I love fashion, okay? Not, I'm not talking about like, you know, like, oh, I love that shirt and I love those shoes. No, 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 like, I mean like I legit love fashion. So if you come up to me doesn't matter who you are, okay, and you are giving me life with the conversation that you are serving me, right, as in like having to do with fashion or anything that I'm interested in, I will sit down, I will grab my cup of tea, I will grab my Starbucks, or I will grab a crumpet, I will grab something that's around me, and I will sit down and converse with you because I love conversing with you, I love talking to people, I, I, that's everything. So now that I've prefaced this video, now I want you to place yourself, okay, in my body. So you're going to become Christopher Garces. <laughs> you're 5'4". <five four. laughs> you're 5'4". You're, um, we're not going to talk about weight. <laughs> we're going to pretend that your, your waist is already snatched, okay, because that's how I envision myself. So your, your waist is snatched. You're wearing an old... Oh my goodness, I can't even believe I'm telling you this. You're wearing an old 2010 Hollister sweater. Oh, don't kill me for this. Please don't kill me for this. Um, and you're wearing like an H&M blue sweatshirt. You're wearing these like Nikes and you're on a treadmill. Off the corner of your eye, you see this cute boy walking. You're like, oh, okay. Caramel skin tone, very somewhat lightish kind of hair, a little curly, you know serving you kind of like African-American kind of descent, mixing with like maybe a little bit of like Native American. I mean, very put together, like matching coordinates, snatched sneakers, envious because I don't look like that when I walk into the gym. So I'm done with my workout, okay? We're sweating and I make my way to the locker room and I happen to run into the guy. Obviously, I'm looking at my phone on Instagram and I bump into him. He's a lot more attractive like face to face than he was like from a distance. Cause mind you, I'm not wearing my glasses. So like everything looks kind of attractive from afar. <laughs> but closer up, he's quite attractive. I compliment him on his bag because he has a really nice bag. What can I say, you know? And at the same time that we're having this conversation, it is also the first day of New York menswear week um, in New York City. You know, he happens to tell me that he is an Instagram fashion person who has quite a big following. He told me that he loves fashion and that's his like big thing, that's what he wants to turn into his career. Um, that he, you know, watches all these fashion shows, that he is really up to date when it comes to menswear, couture, and ready to wear, and all that fashion stuff that happens throughout the entire year. Um, and I'm living for that because that's literally what my life revolves around, aside from what it is that I do as my full-time job. Fashion is like everything for me. I, you know, I asked him, I was like, hey, so tell me, what's your favorite designer when it comes to menswear? And he said, if I was able to go meet the designer, it'd have to be the fashion house of Givenchy. Wow. 
What? <laughs> Which fashion house is that? I'm sorry, I don't know a Givenchy. Like, what? Who? Who does that? Like, are they new? Like, have they been around for long? I'm like, you know what, Chris? Everyone makes a mistake, you know. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to pronounce a fashion house name. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult, you know. Um, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and let's just keep on the conversation going. Because we both love fashion. You know that's not how you pronounce Givenchy. Okay, that, let's be real, you don't pronounce it like that. Don't you ever pronounce it like that. It is Givenchy. Givenchy, please. It's literally on Google, okay. It's here. <laughs> Where you are right now, you can just literally type in anything you want. How to pronounce sit. If you, if you type that in right now, it'll pop on your little screen and you can learn how to pronounce the word sit. Same exact thing with Givenchy. And then he happens to ask me, what is your favorite designer? And what is your favorite designer uh, fashion house? And so obviously my first go-to is, as you guys all know, I talk about their colognes all the time, but not just their colognes, I love their clothing as well. I say my favorite fashion house has to be YSL. I love what Eddie Slaman has done. He's like, oh my goodness, he's like, I can't believe it. He's like, I have been in love and obsessed with all the Chelsea boots that St. Lawrence, Lawrence has released recently. Please, Lord, give me patience because I'm about to go snatch someone's edges. St. Laurent. This guy is a freaking idiot. He just said it so casually, like it was just normal. Like he's, like he said it to a million other people and no one has ever corrected him. I'm sorry, I must have missed that class because if you're good at pronouncing syllables, Good for you, boo, but these are French words, you need to get it together because if you work in the fashion industry, if you walk up to someone and you say Givenchy or you say Saint Laurent, they will turn right back around. They won't even say two words to you. They will turn 180, okay, and they will walk on to go get their drink because they are not wasting any time on you because you don't know how to pronounce a fashion house or designer name at all whatsoever. I think that you and I both know Okay, that is Saint Laurent. You know what I mean? Saint Yves Saint Laurent. Don't ever, please don't ever, uh, that irks me. Please don't ever come up to me and tell me that you know about fashion and then destroy, massacre, and stab in the back a fashion house and designer name because I will come for you. Girl, you're gonna need a new lace front. You better contact Beyonce and she might give you a lace front after I'm done with you because you're gonna need it. Once he mispronounced that second name, I was like, you know what? I'm done. Like, I don't have to give you the time of day, and I'm not, because there's no need. Literally opened up my phone in the middle of the conversation, looked up an Uber, requested the Uber, okay, grabbed my bag, grabbed my water bottle, grabbed my towel from the locker room, locked my locker, turned around, and walked out. Like, I felt so disrespected and so, like, hurt. My love and passion is up here, and yours is, like, it's hiding underneath like a rock or something because girl, I lift up the rock and I'm still looking like where the fuck is this passion because I don't see it. You just want them coins and if you want that coin then go to AC more and apply for a job because fashion's easily going to turn at you and be like, listen, disrespect, we're done, on to the next. I guess the moral of the story <laughs> after I've like vented so much is be you, like be you, be true to yourself, like you know, follow your dreams. By all means, follow your dreams and do what you love. But if you do love fashion or if anything that you do love, learn about it, learn from it. You know what I mean? Grow from it because that growth and that learning experience that you get from it is what's going to turn you into a better, smarter, wittier candidate when it comes to, you know, the nit and the gritty of like, are you gonna get this job or not? It's like when you love something and when you show that passion for that, that outspeaks everything and anything in your path. So, be you. But yeah, that was my um, story about the cute guy at the gym who was really attractive, um, but was really dumb. <laughs> I'm not gonna reveal his name on Instagram. 
Um, I'm not gonna reveal, you know, which Instagram blogger it is because it's so petty. I, I won't ever do that. Um, but it just was like a wake up call. Like, listen, he might be cute on like social media, but that don't mean that he's like that in person. It just shows that like social media is kind of like a facade. But yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. I thought it was hysterical that I was able to kind of just like bring you into the world of Chris Garces. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I do post videos every single week having to do with menswear and lifestyle and men's fashion and all that jazz. Um, and yeah, guys, until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.